Do you know that a lot of job applicants don't even get this negative feedback? We regret to inform you that on this occasion, your application was unsuccessful. We wish you all the best in your job search. A lot of folks who apply for jobs, we don't get this. We're not talking about the positive feedback, congratulations, you are successful, or... I am talking about the negative feedback. We don't even receive an email suggesting that, oh, they even saw our application. They read through or they did not, you know. And when you do not see or receive a feedback, either ways, you feel really sad that these people, they didn't reach back to you and you never bothered to understand why this happened. In this very content, I shall be giving you a particular example, practical example of what happened to me, you know, because I keep it real here. I cite real examples often at times, not all the time. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Chinyere Ojike. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, like this video and keep coming for more. Why is it that most often you send out your application to intended employers? Unfortunately, you never received any feedback. What I have here was the application I made, yes, for an unqualified, <laughs> for an unqualified teaching assistant job role. You know, and I got a feedback, your application. Okay, thank you for your interest in our role. We regret to inform you that your application for the unqualified teaching assistant is unsuccessful. You know, immediately I saw this message, I busted into laughter. I called my husband's attention. I said, wait, I applied for an unqualified job and I got a feedback that my application for the unqualified teaching job is unsuccessful. Who does that? I applied for a job that I am not qualified for, like advertised. So what makes me unqualified for the unqualified job? Do you get that? You know, so that aside, now there are certain mistakes we make. I have made this mistake and I'm going to share with you how I realized my mistake. A friend of mine reached out to me and said her agency that they are employing cover teachers in a high school, secondary school, that I should forward my application to them and then mention his name, her name, that she recommended me to the agency. So she sent me their email address, you know. So I wrote them, PM, in fact, I screenshot and sent to my friend and said, see, I've just forwarded my application to them. One week, two weeks, PM, I didn't hear nothing from them. I told my friend, she said, what exactly went wrong that she told them that somebody like this is going to be applying? Do you know what I did? I went back to where I usually create my CV, CV help. And I discovered my mistake. The job is actually for a convert teacher in a high school, isn't it? But I saved my application with teaching assistant CV. Are you getting my gist? So, the attachment I sent to an employer, somebody who was expected to look at my CV or who is expected to, look my, to have a look at my CV, you know, the attachment alone reads teaching assistant CV and the job is for a cover teacher. I ask you this question. If you are an employer, and you, you advertise a job role for a math teacher in a school. And somebody sent you an, a, a, an attachment and said that read, you know, physics teacher CV. Would you bother opening that attachment to read through? Talk more of writing that person to say, sorry, your application was unsuccessful or successful. Answer me. This is the mistake a lot of us make when applying for a job. We use one CV for all the job roles. You know, people from our side, Africans, Nigerians, I mean, the way we feel, we feel like this a lot. Pompous, pomposity is our problem, especially when we have crossed the four walls of the higher institution. And coming to Obodo Yibo, we believe that abroad, 
Then I beg, let me just apply. After all, all this job, my casual job, make her apply. Now you would see a doctor. I am using this as an example. But in reality, doctors do care jobs. Doctors do support work. Put it in the comment section if you have seen a doctor doing a care job in the UK. Now the mistake would be for you as a doctor to apply for a support work role or job role using your doctor's CV because you believe that, man, what is that job? I can do it. If I am a doctor, what is to, you know, attend to a patient and take care of personal care? What does that entail? Providing personal care to a patient since you are already a doctor. Unfortunately, doctors don't even do personal care in my home country. Yes. Even here, some of them who are humble, they could have the nurses at times to turn or roll, but it is not their it is not in their job description, generally speaking. You know, so I don't blame them when they do like this. But coming here to do that job, the mistake you would make is to forward your doctor's CV when you want to apply for a support work role, you know. And the mistake you will also you some people make, you want to apply for a support job and you use your care work cv maybe the care this thing cv that you used to apply in a care home you know working in the care home is different from a support work some support work requires i mean some of the individuals that need support some of them are 70 to 80 percent independence they need you they need just little observations and support for them to live their daily lives so it's entirely different when you are applying to work in a dementia home that's a care home nursing home with elderly people or in a children's care home so your cv should always be different and whatever you save it with should always be different. Sometimes they can be the same when you talk about your job experience. You know, they are the same. Your qualification can be the same. But do yourself that favor of going back to your personal statement to change two, three lines. In my own case, what did I do? After I realized my fuck up, sorry to use that F word. What I did was to go back to where I restructured my CV, PM. Where I saved it, the title, because when you save it with a title, that is what is going to appear when you send it to somebody or send it as an attachment. So I changed that title from teaching assistant to a convert teacher CV. And then I did not end there. I went back to my personal profile, personal statement. I realized that on my personal uh, sorry, I realized that in my personal statement, I also mentioned teaching assistant. You see the problem? What if I did not check? So what I did was to change some lines to tally it with what a cover teacher would do. These things are very simple. And I did not touch the rest of the body of my, what is it called, CV. Because job experience or experiences, usually the same. Educational qualification, usually the same. My references are... So personal statement is what you are going to be looking at. For instance... Somebody who wants to switch from a warehouse job, Amazon warehouse job, you want to work in the shop floor. You should change it. You know, change your personal statement to suit that you want to work in a shop floor. Maybe a till manager, you know, to work as people who work, I mean, who serve customers right at the till. You check whatever the goods and blah, blah, blah. You are detailed, you know, you understand the currency values and the blah, blah. These are the things you should pull there. Not you can lift a heavy truck. You can package this within one second. You package a bus. No, it should be reading something different. So these are certain mistakes a lot of us make when putting out our CV, you know, that makes it difficult for we to get either positive or negative feedback. This is reality. Yes, I choose to make this video because it is something I've experienced. In the video I made about volunteering, giving you an opportunity to get a job, giving you an edge over others, I forgot to mention that if you volunteer in a company or a setup that is related to the job you are looking for, believe me, when there is a vacant space, you would have an edge over others. They would ask if you want a paid job if you want to be employed 
they would give you that job before they start putting out adverts on Google. It is as easy as ABC. And I forgot to state that I met another lady who gave me another link to voluntary whatever in my hospital here, you know. So she told me, yes, I wanted to refer somebody to start living with them. This lady is a student. She came in in September last year with a husband, a student, Teesside University. She's a mom, you know. So she told me that why she wouldn't, yeah, yeah, why she would not accept somebody I wanted to start living, squatting in her own house is because she at that moment was doing a voluntary work at the hospital here, you know. And the person I wanted to start squatting in her home, that person got a job as a dietitian in the same hospital. So she doesn't want their address to clash. <laughs> you know, when they are new, they are scared so that they wouldn't say, oh, two of you, how can two of you be using the same address and blah, blah, blah. And she told me that after her voluntary work, that she's starting main job in that same hospital the next month. She gave me the date I've forgotten. And the same job role as a care assistant in the world where she volunteered. So volunteering in an organization that does similar thing that you are interested in is like an internship. They give you that age when there is an opportunity for employment, you stand out on the list. They take you first because you have already practicalized, you get experience while volunteering. And for you, being able to render your services one hour, two hours for free, you know, is something that is valued in this part of the world. So like I've stated, you've seen the mistakes most of us make. I made that mistake, and this is the reason I've just shared this. Look at your CV, edit it, you know, add the relevant stuff related to the job you are looking for. Change the irrelevant stuff and don't write something that will put somebody looking at your CV off to the extent that the person would not even click to open that CV because the cover is saying entirely something different. They advertise for a job of a support worker. But what you put on your CV that you attached you saved it with Dr. CV. They advertised for the role of a domestic staff in a hotel, you know, and your CV has, I mean, the title of the attachment also has something like the role of a care assistant because you believe that it doesn't make any difference. Besides, hotel domestic, uh, the, uh, domestic staff, uh, you do cleaning, room service, you tidy up the room, you clean tissue, but these things, honestly, if you were the one to look at this CV, would you even have opened it when you advertise for a role of a math teacher and somebody has a, 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 a physics teacher on top? You would not open it. You advertise for the role of, you know, a shop attendant. Somebody has... Um, warehouse job experience, warehouse CV at the top of their CV. You advertise for the role of a support worker. Somebody has doctor CV. Man, these are the things we do. I did that. I am telling you the truth. My had teaching assistant CV, whereas the job is or was for a cover teacher. And for two weeks, I didn't even get negative or positive feedback. So these are the careless things we do. And inside my personal statement also has it from the beginning. You no, know, they read the personal statement first. If they ever open your CV, they go on to check. My personal statement was also talking about teaching assistant role, not even a cover teachers. Man, we could pity ourselves. So this is just what I want to share. Be cautious, you know, observe things very well and make all these changes before ever you put out any CV. Yes, and definitely you're going to get either negative or positive response. But we all look forward and pray for positive response from our intended employers. I wish you good luck, yes, in your job hunt. Thank you once again for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and keep coming for more.